Hey everyone, welcome back to another OTD video. Today I decided to show you guys a recent haul of mine. Some of you guys like to refer to them as mail finds. This is from my friend Tim. Tim lives in Houston. He buys cars most of the time from a uh, just local distributor. So it's always nice to, uh, to split cases with him, you know, kind of get the economics involved and, and, and share a set with a friend. So that's actually how I obtained these latest cars you see in front of you. In that box from Tim were some of the latest replica entertainment cars, some EK's main lines, and uh, actually two new character cars. So I'm going to show you all of those in this video here. As far as the re replica entertainment is concerned, the box contained one car from the first mix of 2019, and which was DC Comics. And the other four cars uh, you see to the right of that are from the second mix of 2019. You have Back to the Future, Part 3, I think two cars. One's from Part 2, the other one's from Part 3. Uh, and then Project Cars 2, Doctor Strange, and there's actually a Gas Monkey Garage car that only came one to a case, uh, and I let Tim have that one. So, And then there are also some um, EKS mainlines, I think I have them here. Yeah, we have the 32 Ford, uh, the 70 Ford Escort R1600, and then the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Just uh, three cars. Uh, I don't think I've, I've, I haven't found any EK's cars, so these are just some extra ones uh, that he found at retail. Also, uh, two of the new character cars with the swing out the lightsaber action features. So I'm gonna show you those too right here you can see Darth Vader with the red lightsaber there or is it orange uh, and then Luke's Jedi Luke Skywalker with a green lightsaber so. so I'm gonna skip the the eight the e case uh, mainline cars uh, and just head straight to the the premium cars here the replica entertainment cars I think the Batmobile uh, is actually, um, I think it's been released three times now in all in entertainment um, in terms of premium. Uh, you, can, you can actually see the other other cars on the back here that were involved. Uh, you had two of the, the Aquaman ships, the s submarines, and then the other four cars were Batman related. So, and you actually have Two from a couple years ago. Let's see if I can get these here. They're kind of one just says Batmobile, the other one says Batman Returns Batmobile. Um, as far as I can tell, they are all the same. But uh, one thing you do notice here is the the upgrade to the packaging. The packaging has changed uh, from 2018 to 2019 uh, in terms of. In, in terms of just uh, replica entertainment here, uh, you see the, the large bubble is gone and you have more of a standard car, car culture, pop culture, blister. So, and then also the cool thing that I like about these, these new blisters, they have in the back here, you can see, it's hard to see, but you have uh, kind of three segments in the film, in the film strip. You have a TV segment, a movie reel and then there's also a, like a little Hot Wheel logo joystick which is cool because it represents, represents the three uh, facets of the replica entertainment in that replica entertainment contains cars from movies TV and video games so moving on to the the four cars that are in the second mix of 2019 uh, we're gonna start with the Ford Super Deluxe with manure this car has been released before, a couple years ago, we had it uh, with the manure, um, and then actually shortly after that, uh, we had a MEA, MEA uh, dinner dance uh, exclusive, so that was a Mattel employee only, and it actually came with a white piece in top, so it was, it was disguised to look like snow versus the manure. So this is the one from several years ago, I think it was maybe 2014 or 2015, but now 
we see it again for 2019 uh, and actually a matte black color so instead of the gloss that was previously released and then the manure is you know I think it's more brown or just one color brown versus the manure on the the original one which had more of a, a, a brown with a black kind of spray on it I think both interiors are red as well yes so and then another back to the future car is in this mix as well uh, I think this is probably the one that uh, most movie geeks were were excited for it's the back to the future 1955 time machine with the wagon wheels that one is uh you know it's, it's pretty cool i've actually heard you know, online a lot of people uh disliking it actually because they were saying that mattel was cheaping cheapening out not putting real riders on on a, on a premium car which is completely and utterly ridiculous considering that this car is a is a replica movie car and it's made to look like the actual time machine in at the end of the third movie where they have it on the train tracks and they're trying to you know jump jump it back into uh you know drive it back to 88 miles an hour uh so it can it can jump time so th these these are actually new wheels and I, I heard we'll be seeing these again somewhere in some capacity so but it's it's you know it's a new wheel uh you know specific you know to this this car at least for right now well actually and then we've we've seen the 1955 which i refer to as the 1855 time machine um, I, I forgot the exact reasoning behind it um but it you know legally it is called the 1955 time machine let me see if i can get the other two here yeah so this car this car has actually been released uh two other times and you can see that uh, previously it was released uh, Sands the Wagon Wheel. It was actually released with the the older um, 1955 style hub. Because uh, if you remember, they you know they jump from the, they jump from 1955 into uh, the the you know 1855. You know they, they're going back around time. Um, you know I haven't watched the movies in a while, but uh, if you remember the 1955 wheels uh, that they originally had on this car, they were the the red hub with the white walls. So that pre those pre previously uh, released ones actually wear those those wheels, whereas this new one actually has the wagon wheel. So that's pretty cool there. All of these are the same casting, at least as far as I can tell. Um, they have to do this, a slightly different deco on them. They're just ever so slightly though. You can you probably wouldn't be able to tell if they weren't in the package that they were different releases, but at least for the bottom two. Gonna put that down there then we're gonna move on to project cars 2 uh, it's a popular you know video game uh, seg whoop, popular video game that, uh, that you know race car enthusiast race car um, video game enthusiasts have been playing so and this one comes with the the ever popular advan livery you can see that there and it's actually a new casting, so we've actually haven't even seen this casting before. It's the Acura NSX GT3. This casting was actually scheduled to come out at the end of 2018, uh, but for whatever reason, we see it uh, now in the second mix of 2019. And oddly enough, it's actually it was almost released concurrently with another uh, 2019 release, which should be out any day now. Is the Car Culture release of it in Open Track? Uh, that one is a blue car versus the Advan delivery on this one. And then it's actually pretty cool that they did this because it actually serves as a then and now actually with the uh, then and now, or I'm sorry, the race day uh, NSX from from car culture in 2017. So that's cool. You have these two NSXs, uh, you know, modern day one and a one from the 90s. So it actually serves as a then and now. So, I mean, it's just a handful of cars that, you know, have received that Advan, Advan uh, livery uh, now. So just a cool livery in, in black and red that I think nobody dislikes. And then lastly, we have the Doctor Strange Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. Great car there. Uh, 
stock deco uh, because I mean, in the movie it is it is a stock Lamborghini. It's actually uh, Doctor Strange's you know car until he has a, a for, unfortunate spoiler alert uh, mishap uh, where he falls off the cliff uh, and you know wrecks the thing completely. It's in like the first five minutes of the movie, so don't, don't give me anything. But uh, yeah, just a great movie car there. Kudos to uh, you know the folks at Mattel for coming up with this one, kind of reaching into their back pocket and and, and, and you know really figuring out uh, you know how to get a, a cool stock uh, premium car into a movie car segment. So and it's actually I mean it's actually the second time we've seen the Hurricane uh, in replica entertainment. Last year, if you remember, at the end of the, uh, 2018, we saw it in the Forza segment. In the yeah, so you had the Forza livery on there. It was actually probably one of the underrated cars in that in that series. I didn't hear too many people talk about it. Uh, and it appeared in that series as the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. So as you, as you can see, these are the same car and they, you know, the difference between a racing and a stock livery there. So, in addition to the replica entertainment cars that I just showed you, I did mention at the beginning of the video that there were some character cars as well, some brand new character cars, and I just thought these are cool. Um, you know, I, I collect character cars sparingly, I guess you could say, and uh, that I don't have a ton of them, but I do probably have more than um, people that you know that don't actually seek them out. So, I have. Uh, he sent, Tim sent me over two of them. This one, uh, the Jedi Luke Skywalker, I can tell you I don't have this car in my collection because, well, one, I just didn't care for it all too much, but uh, I told him I would take that one off his hands because it was an extra from one of his cases. But this Darth Vader, on the other hand, I do have at least one Darth Vader. Uh, I was trying to find the other ones. I couldn't find them. But this Darth Vader, you can see the that red lightsaber sticking out of it. Uh, there's actually a switch on the bottom of it that tucks the lightsaber back into the car, back into the sides of the car, and then you can extend it back out. So just with the flip of a switch in the base there, and I do have, I do have actually the original uh, Darth Vader that I had signed by the designer of the of the uh, Darth Vader character car and the real car, Brian Benedict. So Brian Benedict was nice enough to sign this one for me. So, I have that one to go with my new character car, lightsaber, action feature car. You see the lightsabers on the sides of this one. So they, they were on the sides, uh, but now they were, they were built into a, a feature where they can extend out. So, just a cool piece. Um, I'm sure some people don't care or they'll overlook those, but definitely something, uh, you know, I think, I think I might try and get some of the more some of the Darth Vader cars just because it's such a cool car and it is in fact a real car so that actually concludes the find I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know if you have any questions if I admitted anything please feel free uh, you know those movie references are tough sometimes especially uh, in when I'm recalling them but uh, yeah let me know in the comments below if there's anything uh, that you, that I omitted or uh, anything that you guys would like to add to to what I said all right, take care.